Welcome to my house. Wait, it makes me think of uh, that song when I just said that to you. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, welcome to my new uh, YouTube channel called Jai Ja. Jai Ja Ja. Yeah. Um, so that's actually how you say my name in Laos. Um, and so Che is more like my government issued name. And I thought, hey, you know, I think it was Medea's quote or she got it from somewhere where you should respond to what uh, you like to be called. And um, when it came to America, that somebody, and bless her heart, they were probably trying to do a good thing um, and spelled my name phonetically. And it's Jai, not Che. But I just went with that because everybody knew me as that. But now that I'm my own boss, I should probably go by the name that I want to be called. And that's the name my parents gave me. And Jai in Laos or in Thai means heart. So... Awesome, awesome. So uh, since you guys know I'm ADD, so I kind of got to be all over the place. I thought, hey, let's create a YouTube channel where I can skill share my talent, skills, um, quirks, basically anything, um, ideas, just like uh, one of the videos I showed you guys. We need to continue to be innovative, come up with new ideas, try them. Well, a million will probably not work, but there'll be that one that makes you that million dollar. And so I hope... Uh, you guys enjoy this video today i'm gonna make chicken feet kaboon i know don't don't knock it until you try it a lot of people like you know when i came to america i was like spaghetti that's gross what is that nasty red sauce and noodles so i mean unless you've tried something and it's not common to your culture i probably won't knock it it's actually pretty good so uh follow me and uh we'll cook together so what I have cooked for you guys already, I hope you guys can see, is uh, the chicken feet. Um, here we go. Can you guys see pretty well? Okay. So I boiled these little suckers. Um, at first, always, I am OCD when it comes to cleanliness and hygiene. So I made sure to really clean these guys. See, they even have, like... I know it's going to gross some of you guys out, but it's fine. Uh, see, they even got fingernails on. Don't worry, they're super clean. And I boiled them down really good. Uh, they, I, I wash them in both vinegar and salt uh, to clean any contamination um, that's on them. And then I boil them in salt water as well. Um, so they're super clean and I'll wash them again before I cook them. So let's see. Let's start out first with the ingredients. Sorry, I might be going off on tangents, but uh, you guys have to bear with me, okay? Uh, first, uh, I went shopping. When I go shopping yesterday... Uh, Jerry hates it when I go because I just go berserk. I love food. Um, I will not splurge on anything. I don't drink, uh, smoke, or anything like that. So all my money goes to food. Okay, so what I have here is my stash from yesterday. Can you guys see it? Yeah, all that good stuff. Huh? I eat pretty healthy, uh, um, except probably for the Cheetos and that uh, Mexican tamarind candy thing. I spend like a dollar a day on them. <laughs> so I thought I'd just buy it the whole... Uh, package okay so that's kind of like my grocery shopping list hope you guys see that okay so now we're back and so the major ingredients you'll need is some type of meat that won't be stocked i personally like turkey meat so i actually got some fresh cut uh turkey wings from the asian grocery store um then you'll need uh coconut milk i personally like savoy brand uh, i feel like uh the coconut's much rich and thicker um, in their brand. And then I love quail eggs. So I really like the Roy D uh, brand. Uh, they seem more fresh tasting to me than the other brands. Um, but again, I think anything works. It's just like, what do you prefer uh, the brand loyalty you have? Then you'll need couple noodles, which are these vermicelli noodles. I'll show you guys how to boil them. Basically, you just open it up, boil them water to the consistency that you like. You can toss it up in the ceiling, see if they stick. Then they're ready for you to eat. You can go with either brand. Uh, anything made in China, I'm kind of cautious because I heard they used uh, some of them used wrong ingredients. That these might not be even rice rice powder used to make these ingredients. So. Uh, we'll see. I I like. I would like to think that they use a real thing uh, because I think uh, they'll be uh, make better sales when their clients are alive than dead. So we'll see. And then I like to put uh, beef meat meatballs in mine. I like to cut them up. I'm telling you, my kaboon is like loaded. Okay, this is not any normal kaboon. This is like 
the che or you can eat buffet kaboon style okay so uh, I got uh, I believe these are the great wall brand uh, find them at any major Asian grocery store I like I get the one with tendons I like those and then I get the ones that don't have tendons that my majority of my family likes so we kind of compromise here and then uh, I, I took out the jar uh, or the container that came in I used it for uh, to put something else in but this is the red uh, curry sauce um, and I believe the brand is Maploy she's uh, go with her she'll hook you up she's actually really reliable uh, and then I have fresh garlic from the farmers market uh, some kind of old lemongrass uh, and onion uh, in my cupboard and then you'll also need some kefir lime leaves I have some frozen in the freezer and let me see what else we need uh, you need salt uh, and, and sugar to kind of season it. Um, also, like fish sauce, super awesome. I like this brand in particular, um, and I, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I, I remember when we were young and like we watched the cooking show, and then the guy would make it, and then he'll pull something out. Uh, of the oven. Sorry, I got distracted because there's a squirrel. We we name him Freddy, and he's outside. He checks my tomato. I can I don't know if you guys can see it, but he takes the tomato every day. He'll bite on it, gnaw on it, and just leave it on my deck to kind of tease me. And said, "Ha, you guys got played." So that dude was just here a moment ago. So I saw him outside my window. Anyways, back on. See ADD. I tell you. Um, so uh, I, f I forgot where I'm at. Okay, completely out of mind um but oh yes yeah, so those cooking shows when we grow up like yank and cook like totally love that show but i would like you know as a kid you're naive you kind of take things at face value so when the guy was like cooking and everything and then all of a sudden he brings it out like all completely done and i'm like whoa how did it magically appear so obviously i can't do that for you guys and also i'm not that technically savvy so everything's like real time so i hope you guys enjoy it and we'll be back so i'm gonna go on and make prepare the broth and then uh, keep you updated as to what that process looks like uh hang in there and uh, i'll see you guys soon peace out love ya